um, my favorite thing about Muskoka Woods was the message. The message um, that John said and what um, Sam said, they're both very deep and they're both applied to me. And um, at home and in church, I realized I need to change my ways and be a better man. And I thank them. And I thank Amelia and my brother for helping me. And I thank my father and my mother for helping me as well. Uh, camp Muskoka is, yeah. is the best camp ever I've been to. Mm -hmm. And um, I w it's easily enjoyable. You love it. you love it if you come. And I'm probably going to um, come here next year with everyone else. So you you you, you. see ya. But yeah, that that's that's about it. I took away a lot. Sam was was great. He uh, touched my life, and and I think this one's here to stay. So thank you, and that's what Unite's all about. Come out next year. Yeah. We're in the same group, so we went to go with Melissa and Candy, and. They were like talking about how much they like care about us and how they like think about us during the week even when like we're not at Wednesday night and that was so sweet. Yeah, and it got very emotional. It got so emotional, like everybody was yeah. crying. Yeah, that was so cute. I love those girls. Yeah, They're so adorable. everyone had like a moving experience. Yeah. Because they were able to connect with one another and all the messages took them to heart. Like that time when Stuart was like um um like us in the middle of the service and then that became like we'll always have each other. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah. guys, it's turning into an episode of Little Spoken. Sam was his message about uh, always addressing God even when things were going well really stuck with me. Uh, he's a good preacher. His jokes were funny. Yeah. His jokes yeah, were funny. Yeah. Uh, John Spence was uh, And uh, it just stuck. Yeah. And then John Spence's questions were like, who are you type questions, you know. Like only three words, but uh, I mean, three, yeah, three words, but really packs a punch type thing. And get, get you thinking about uh, how you describe yourself, not just like athletic and creative, but your guy's child type thing. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. I liked pretty much all the message because all the messages because Sam and John like they're such like good speakers like and they're both so passionate about what they do like and my favorite verse that was said throughout the week was Galatians 1:10 because it really spoke to me as a person. So that was my favorite like verse. Um, I really liked meeting lots of new people and just getting to know everyone this week and yeah, just like it's been a really good experience with all that and the cabin. It's just been yeah. fun getting to know people. I think my perspective on life has changed after this week and, and um, just meeting new people and becoming closer with these people are so, it's such a good foundation to have like good friends that believe in the same thing you do and one of the things that I really liked that John said was there's three like there's three people like there's three of you and that's what people think of you what you think of yourself and what God knows you are and that's one thing that really stuck with me and yeah just want to go out there and just like give God's love out in the world so one of my favorite things about the week was we had this like capture the flag like paint fight with like powder balls it was so much fun at the end we weren't even playing the game it was just like a war and it was like the probably my highlight of my week next to all the worship because the worship yeah. was very yeah, powerful the worship was amazing the worship was one of my favorite things just having like standing next to these girls and putting your hands up and just being so passionate about it was like amazing and like at this like area, like sometimes you may feel like scared to put your hands up or whatever, but here like you're just so comfortable with yeah. doing it. Like you aren't scared if anyone's watching you or something like that. Yeah, just praising God. Okay, I, my favorite part was probably the worship. I just like being able to like, you know, close your eyes and just have that time with God. I love the messages. We were able to relate and like, I liked having like a new pastor speak and like it was really cool. And also, um, some things I learned is probably like to stay close to God because I know that once like you know we get out of this like, retreat thing like out of this environment it's hard to like you know go to our Bible and make time for him but it's important because or else we'll never have a relationship with him. Well my I have a few favorites. I really also like the worship and the, like the um, services. They, were really, they really reached out to me and it taught me more about this, about like God and stuff like that. And John and Sam were really great at speaking. They were really good and probably reached out to a lot of people. 
And I also like the other activities like like the war, like the capture the flag with all the flower bombs and the paint getting all wet and stuff. So that was pretty fun. So I came into this weekend kind of knowing what to expect in some ways. I think it brings others because I've been on a retreat before, but it was nice seeing people that have never been on a retreat really open up, even from like the very first session. I really was surprised by how open people were and how easily people connected with each other and with God. And coming into the retreat, we kind of all, it was kind of a weird group looking at it from afar, but we really, I really did see so many connections being made. And even just the guys, I don't know how many times I heard big baby from them. And just seeing them all together when it was Uche's birthday and they made a speech and they were all just in it together and in it to be just us. And we came in and we now know that youth is like a family. If you have no one, you think you have no one, you have, or you don't have the kind of people you should have in your life, you've got us. And if you didn't come, you've still got us. And we really have to remember that we have to stay close. That was one of the main messages. We need to stay close and we need to know what's right, who in our lives needs to be there and who we kind of might have to cut off. We're really trying to try to change, make work in our beliefs. And so I was really, really happy with what I took away from this weekend, what everyone else did. I was really happy to see my cabin connect and other cabins connect and really to the end have so much fun at the gym and everything. And I really, really, really am happy that I came and I really wish more people did come but I know they're probably going to be doing another one next year and more years to come so there's always opportunities.